And now, part of the U.S. economy, a new spotlight today on an old problem for one half the people in America. A new report showing female managers earn just 81 cents for every dollar male managers are making. Barely budged in a decade. Why? We have the hearing on Capitol Hill and something experts say women must do. Here's Sharon Alfonsi. Companies are always looking for that one thing that can bolster their bottom line. Now Campbell Soup and a few other companies may have discovered the secret ingredient, women. Today, Campbell's announced Denise Campbell's Morrison will be their new CEO. The company has increased the number of women executives from 21 to 25 percent in just four years. The result? Have you seen sales take off at all? Sales, sales are mm -mm good. <laughs> Up 15 percent this year, the company even outperforming the S&P. And it turns out companies with more women executives consistently outperform those with fewer women, which right, makes so the data revealed on Capitol Hill today even harder to swallow. Women are stuck. Despite decades of efforts to create opportunities for advancement, deep inequities persist. One study shows women make up nearly half the labor force, but only 25 percent are senior officers. Less than that hold board seats and even less an executive office. But perhaps most surprising, women make up less than 3 percent of CEOs. And researchers found women with MBAs earn $4,600 less in their initial jobs than their male counterparts. Part of it discrimination, part of it that women just don't negotiate as well. Take this GMA behavior lab. Volunteers were asked to play a game told they'd be paid anywhere from $5 to $12, but it was negotiable. I would like the max, of course. Half the men asked for more money, but only a third of women bargained for more. Five dollars okay? Yeah. Great. But experts say it's not just the women getting shortchanged, it's companies and their shareholders. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York.